Today, I'm attempting to walk 20,000 steps across the entirety of London with these electric legs. It is a pretty ambitious target, but I wanted to add some spice as well to see if I could do it on a single battery. Not exactly fashion week, I know, but if this can save my legs on stairs, long hikes and bridges, that's a win. And before we set off, Hypershell is the world's first consumer-grade exoskeleton brand to be certified by SGS. This is a serious third-party validation, not just marketing. I've been so curious about exoskeletons since I first saw them on Instagram about a year ago. This one from Hypershell is pitched at hikers, travelers, and I think I found, maybe accidentally, a couple more target audiences for it as well. Today, I'm gonna show you the good, the awkward, and whether it actually helps when you usually would be shattered after a long day walking. But first of all, how does it work? Think of it like a, a pedal assist for your legs. Sensors read your motion, and the motor gives you a little push at the right time. Uh, the setup was really quick, as you can probably tell. Um, less than 30 seconds, and I'm up and, up and going. And uh, yeah, it's about, let's see what time it is, so we know. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon, 12.47 to be exact. And we are starting here at Paddington Station. Let's go. There are three main modes that I used. Eco, which is kind of her everyday assist. Hyper, more punch when you're kind of climbing or carrying something. And transparent, no real assist, it just feels neutral. And there's also a fitness mode in the app that adds resistance, but more on that later. In terms of power, it's got a peak 1000 watts on the X Ultra, designed to deliver more headroom for things like climbing. As I mentioned, SGS validated performance, which means they really measured reductions in your exertion, like walking and cycling, under very standard tests. To be precise, Hypershell reduces physical exertion by up to 39%. And the beauty of it, as you see how I feel later, it lowers the average heart rate by up to 42%, which means you'll be able to go further without feeling as tired. And Hypershell also has something they call the AI Motion Engine Ultra. It has 12 adaptive motion states, including the snow and dune options. The idea here is that it learns your pattern and responds to it faster than you can think about it. One of the highlights for this product is the battery. It goes the distance rated up to 30 kilometers of walking assistance on a single charge. Of course, if you use the hyper mode, which I'll show you later, that distance will differ a little bit. I am able to put it in my backpack, and I want to say it's the same weight as, a, as my regular laptop. It's extremely lightweight with carbon and titanium construction, designed for outdoor abuse without feeling like a robot costume. It's actually very discreet. Once you put it in, I thought it was going to get a lot more looks than I did. Right, with all of that out of the way, now can it survive my legs and crossing the entire London? The challenge I set myself here was quite simple. One day, one exoskeleton, and one battery. The target was about 20,000 steps, normal pacing, no taxis, of course, and film as we go. Here's the entire route that we're gonna cover today, and there's a big revelation at the end that really sold me on the Hypershell idea. We'll start at Paddington train station, which is where I get off the train, and then we'll make our way through central London, hitting Hyde Park, uh, Piccadilly Circus, and then all the way down to St. Paul's Cathedral, kind of at the other end. In terms of modes, we're gonna start with Eco because I've, I never used them before, so I wanted to get used to it first, and then I'll push a little bit further with Hyper Mode. All right, we'll start with that. Number two, effort, and <laughs> see, see what happens. The first sort of impressions is, <laughs> um, you feel a little bit like a Superman. Not many people staring, which is uh, always a good sign, but maybe it's because I'm wearing kind of you know, dark clothes, so it's kind of camouflage in a way. From a safety perspective, we'll mostly be walking, but you know, if I have to sprint a little bit to cross the street or whatever, I think you will see it was perfectly fine for that as well. Just approaching our first checkpoint here in Hyde Park. I think on flats, my feeling right now is that it's almost like you, you've got constantly fresh legs. So it's not really feeling tired all the time. But before I got too much further, I decided to stop first to make sure that the fit was fine and just adjust the straps to make sure that everything was nice and tight without kind of making it uncomfortable. Just having to do a quick adjust here because I noticed it was a little bit too loose. So the trousers was moving a bit, but now it's, yeah, it feels better now. Right, over to the next checkpoint, Serpentine. It's a bit of a lake within Hyde Park. And here I decided to have a quick stop for lunch and a quick toilet break as well. In case you're wondering, number, number one is fine. I actually took my time over lunch to explore the app a little bit and noticed that there was a firmware update, which 
I just decided to do. It was super easy to do actually, but I realized here that the steps count up to that point got reset, which is fine, right? From a firmware update, you kind of expect that. But no worries because I was wearing my smartwatch as well. So everything was being counted here too. After lunch from Serpentine to Marble Arch, it's a bit of a shorter walk, but I decided to push a bit faster with hyper mode and it really got my heart going a little bit. I got kind of work up a little bit of a sweat as well, which is great, right? You kind of, you're getting exercise, but without feeling too tired. And here's something quite cool that I noticed as well. We don't always walk in a dead straight line, right? Sometimes we have to swerve and do some quick turns as well. Eco mode is definitely the mode to start with, as I learned myself to get accustomed to the exoskeleton, but in no time you'll be able to increase the power and speed, and it's quite safe to do that. To actually do it is very easy. You just double tap to increase the power within the mode you're in, so double click. And if you hold that button for a couple of seconds, you change the modes and it's all very easy to read as well because it's all color coded and easy to follow. And it was at this point about three quarters of the way that I realized how comfortable it is to wear. And that comfort is due to its lightweight chassis, belt centered, and you can tighten each side as well, snug leg straps. I'd say wear comfortable trousers, but also good with jeans. Depending on the jeans, it's gonna be fine, but my jeans was quite thick and it wasn't the most comfortable, but it was fine anyway. Over to the next checkpoint now, Carnaby Street. It's quite a long way here and there's lots of people in this stretch, so plenty of direction change, but I gotta say, I felt like Superman, <laughs> speeding through people here and leaving everyone behind me, it was great. You feel like you are making some effort, but you're not spending as much energy. It's a great feeling, it keeps you feeling fresh, even though you walked thousands and thousands of steps. And now we're gonna go to Trafalgar Square, Horse Guards Parade and Westminster Bridge to have a look at the Big Ben. For this leg here, I was really in the flow now. Sure, I had a couple of stops, got a coffee myself, and I gotta admit, I loved Hyper Mode. Whenever I moved down to Eco Mode, after being on Hyper Mode for a while, I did feel like a, a bit of a downgrade, so I just kept on Hyper Mode for a lot of the time. I decided to do a quick stop here by Trafalgar Square, just to see how I was feeling. We're here now in Trafalgar Square, good place as any to, to stop and you know see where we are. And as you can see, the battery is still holding strong. I've used the, uh, the maximum of the battery now, and um, I think I've turned off a couple of times into kind of regular mode. But yeah, the hyper mode is, uh, is my favorite now, even though we're going flat. I think after a few thousand steps, it does help a little bit more. But yeah, so uh, we're on to St. Paul's uh, Cathedral now, and then cross the bridge, the Millennium Bridge, and then somehow make our way back to Paddington. Uh, but I might have to get a taxi there or something, because <laughs> we're running out of time. Got to get a train back to, uh, to the west. So uh, yeah, wish me luck. Right, now moving on to his Big Ben, and at this point, I gotta say, I was really enjoying wearing it. Whenever I changed modes to transparent or fitness mode, I had to go back to hyper mode because yeah, I just enjoyed it. The fact that it gives you not another, I don't know, a thousand watt peak for the extra oomph on climbs, but it works really well on flats as well. And this mode is gonna be great for hikers, especially towards the end of the day when you're feeling a little bit more tired. Yeah, going up a hill or something, this will really help you. Okay, just to check in here at the Big Ben, and we've done, after the firmware upgrade, we've done 5,000, five kilometers basically. And the batteries are 47%, so just under 50%. So we've been, to be fair, I've been using hyper mode quite a bit now. I actually enjoy that mode now. And uh, yeah, let's go to some poles and see uh, how far we can how far we can drive this thing. In terms of the battery usage, actually, I was using hyper mode, of course. If you stick to eco mode, you can go up to about 30 kilometers on a single charge. At the end, you're gonna see how long I actually walked on a single battery, but it was still impressive. And for this next bit from Blackfires towards St. Paul's, which is kind of our finishing line, I thought it would be a bit of fun to get on an e-bike and see how that felt as well. Okay, this definitely feels like cheating now because we're... On e when I got to Paternoster Square, just behind St. Paul's Cathedral, I decided to walk again and cross the Millennium Bridge. This is one of my favorite parts of London. This is called Paternoster Square, just behind St. Paul's Cathedral uh, over here. And we're now down to 24% battery. Uh, and yes, um, that, that bike ride was a bit hell raising, uh, but it was fun. And yeah, it was comfortable as well, so you can uh, bike with this, no problem at all. It is amazing how fresh my legs feel, even though I've done nearly 20,000 steps. It's incredible, really. I do feel slightly tired now, but not as much as I would be. <sighs> this is fun. So I just had a look at the, the battery here. As you can see, it's 20%. <laughs> so uh, I don't know how... It says it's got 1.7 kilometer range, 
which should be fine for us to cross the bridge and back. And steps wise, I've done 16 and a half thousand. So um, I think we'll, we'll do 20,000 20, uh, and still be done in, in one battery. If not, I do have the spare battery as well, just in case, but I'm not sure we're gonna need it. It's a beautiful evening. And when we got pretty close to our 20,000 steps target, I decided I had earned a little break. I couldn't resist. At this point, I also reflected on my trip to Berlin last week where I was walking about 20,000 steps a day and I wished I had brought the Hypershell with me. I actually saw the Hypershell at this event in Berlin and you can see here people are pedaling, running, going upstairs, short hills. So it's not just for hackers. I actually saw a couple of people wearing them at the event, which gave me a lot of ideas. One of the questions that I wanted to answer with this video is, you know, who is this thing for? The obvious thing is to say that it is for hikers. Absolutely, you know, tick, perfect for that. But I'm also looking around London and seeing all these people walking and I realized that commuting might be a, another huge use case as well because, you know, you just put this on from, from your office to your home and, you know, you don't feel as tired and you get, can get home a little bit, you know, save some energy for, uh, for what matters really. So when you get home, you're not so tired, you know, this is, um, yeah, quite, quite a revelation for that. And here's a hidden benefit that I hadn't realized until now. If you're traveling, you know, you get to the end of the day and you go, oh, I wish I could go to that one next stop. And it literally just happened. There's this one spot on top of this building here that I always love going. Typically at this point in the day, I would be too knackered to go up there, but because I'm, I don't feel as tired, you know, this is supposed to give you like a 40%, 39% kind of reduction in your, um, in your exertion. And I do feel it because I'm feeling like going up there and taking a few photos again and then carrying on going back home. So definitely there's something in there you know if you're traveling this could be the difference between you know seeing something special and not seeing it and that's what i mean right i could have easily <laughs> been too tired by now and got on the train and and gone home and i would have missed this beautiful view up here um yeah that for me makes this well worth it because like i said i don't feel as tired as i would have been and i could go to another kind of landmark here in london if i wanted to I still feel fresh enough to do that. And that's the point, right? It doesn't replace your effort. It saves you energy for those moments that matter and gives you a little boost at the end of the day when you normally would have felt, okay, I need to go home now. So it was so nice to be able to still feel fresh at the end of the day and see that one more view. So here's the final result of the battery. We did almost 22,000 steps on one charge with a mix of eco-transparent and mostly, to be honest, hyper mode. Your mileage will vary, of course, with the weight that you're carrying, the pace you're going, the terrain, and obviously the assist level that you're using. But hopefully what you've seen here today gives you an indication of how far you can go, even if you use the hyper mode quite a bit. So how comfortable is it after pretty much all day wearing it? Very comfortable. I mean, I could have made it easier by wearing uh, like maybe some hiking trousers or, or whatever, or maybe even some light shorts. And I realize you can actually have multiple people using it as long as you know, you know, your measurements in there. So who is this for? The obvious ones are hikers and travelers, of course, who want to save their legs and have that extra visit at the end of the day, like I just showed you, but also creators lugging cameras. Plus there's plenty of use cases as well from a health perspective that just gets people moving. Now, a bit of common sense, of course, is great for walking, hiking, stairs, cycling, but I'll say, you know, not for, for squats, jumping or standing exercises. For running, start slow, try eco first and then, you know, hyper if you suit your stride. Just be careful as you go, just kind of get used to it first. From a pricing perspective, this will depend on your region and your model as well. I'll leave current information below the video here so you can go in there and choose the different models. But in summary, one of the questions that I kept asking myself is, is this cheating? Look, I don't think so. It's more like saving your legs for the bit that matters. One of the things that I did realize is you should be wearing comfortable shoes as well because there's no point you being able to go further if your shoes are not comfortable. So there's that to consider as well. Ultimately, if this means, you know, actually climbing that last hill for that last view to make sure you catch the sunset photo or whatever it is, for me, that's a win. And if you're skeptical, look, I get it. I was too, but after a 20K in London, kind of all day carrying my gear with me, I'm really impressed. It won't replace fitness, but it definitely stretches your day and helps you feel less tired. At a time when a lot of tech feels a bit dull and boring, this genuinely pushes a, a new direction. I can't wait to see what happens in, in a year or two years. I don't think this will turn us into athletes, but it doesn't completely remove the effort, which I think is really positive. The simple truth really is this made my day easier 
and more enjoyable. I think when you go into like public transport, then you have to, you know, there's a little bit of a, an extra faff to put, put it away. Or in if you're standing in that space, you could wear it in public transport as well. But it's just a little help so I could focus on, on the good bits and, and not worry about being tired. If that gets more of us outside as well in moving, that's great. And as you saw today, if that means you tick off that one extra landmark, one extra hill, or that one extra memory, that's a massive win. And I can't wait to see what Hypershell builds next. And to find out more, use the link in my description or scan the QR code here. And talking about Hypershell, also hype this video if you've got a free hype to give to help me get this channel discovered out there. Thank you so much and I'll see you soon.